this edition of Press Play and Learn with Joan Zanzlo, we're back in the kitchen. What are we making? Chocolate covered strawberry brownies. Mmm, this sounds so good. This recipe can be found in the May edition of the Spotlight. So let's get started. Our first step is to find our favorite brownie mix in the store. It can be any kind. And we just followed the directions on the box and we're gonna do that right now. So we put one bag of brownie mix. All right. And our box says to use a half a cup of oil, so vegetable oil. And it has two eggs. I'm gonna let you crack those. I'm crack them in that small bowl. Mm -hmm. All right. And it already smells delicious. We've also preheated our oven to 350. So that's happening while we're getting all the inside stuff. This looks yummy. All right. So pour those in there. So we've got a half cup of oil, two eggs, and then you're gonna do three tablespoons of water. While you're doing that, I'm gonna wash my hands. Perfect. All right, so we're going to mix this up and then we'll see what it looks like. Her has thoroughly mixed this up. And now we are going to place it in a eight by eight pan. And that, what did we put on this pan? We lined it with parchment paper. And why would we do that? So it wouldn't do something. So the brownie batter wouldn't stick to it on the table. That's right. So we're gonna pour this in here and then we place it in our oven. So let's pour it. You wanna pour or you want me to? Okay. Okay. All right, hold, let's keep an eye on here. So we'll pour this in this pan, place it in the oven for about 40 minutes, and then we'll take it out and let it cool. And we'll see how they look. on the cooling process. So what do we do next? We cut the strawberries, and this is about uh, one cup and a half. These are three strawberries. And while those are cooling, we're gonna make the ganache too. Okay, so let's get started on the strawberries first. We just finished cutting off these strawberries, and now we're gonna put them on top of the bread. Yep, you did a great job. And you just lay them in rows, and you can put them as close as you'd like. The whole idea is that every bite will taste like a chocolate covered strawberry. Brownies are topped with the strawberries. It's time to warm up one cup of heavy cream on the stove. Parker and I have poured one cup of heavy cream into a small saucepan. We're going to let it warm up and it's gonna become bubbly around the edge. When that happens, we'll take it off the heat. Now we're gonna pour the chocolate chips into a heat proof bowl. And how many chocolate chips are in there? You don't have to give me Roughly hundreds. Two cups. There we go. Okay, so this is the warmed heavy cream, the one cup. And it's going to go right on top of the chocolate chips that Parker poured in. And then we let it sit for just a couple minutes so the chocolate all melts together into the heavy cream. This has been stirred. This is the heavy cream and the chocolate chips has been mixed thoroughly. And we're going to pour this on top of the strawberries and brownies. onto the brownie and we're gonna put it in the fridge till it's set. So about 20 to 30 minutes. Our chocolate covered strawberry brownies have left the refrigerator and there is only one thing left to do and that is eat them. All right, I can't wait to try them. 
and you can try these too. So make sure you check out the May edition of the Spotlight. You can visit us at jomc.com to check out the recipe in its entirety. And most importantly, make these any night of the week. You will not be disappointed.